Hi everyone, it's Michael from MDO Video to show y'all some different types of um, two-pole, 240-volt receptacles. Uh, this here is a 240-volt, uh, three-pole uh, three dryer receptacle for a 30-amp dryer plug. This is what they used before 19... I think 1990. Three, I'm not sure, and then they converted everything to four prong. But nowadays, back before then, you would have your 120, 120, and your n neutral, no ground. 120, 120 neutral. Now, today, um, you can make these in compliance if this is the ground, if this is the connect, if the ground wire is here and you have your two hots. You still have to have a neutral in the box. But it will work. The problem is, is nowadays the dryer cords now that the dryers come with won't fit in this. So you have to replace these with the newer ones. Uh, this is the uh, 50 amp stove plug. Same thing. This is a 250 volt 15 amp uh, receptacle. Believe it or not, there's a conspiracy of whether a myth of whether it goes this way or this way. Preferably, I like it this way because the ground's on the bottom because the ground is down. Um, some people put them like this. Um, but the funny thing is about this receptacle, it's spec grade and it has, it, you have to have a ground wire on it. And um, it will take 10 gauge wire. Here's another receptacle. This here uh, is a 20 amp 125-250 volt. Okay. And this is a spec grade made in the USA. And this one goes like this. Um, I, I think this is a US plug. If it's made in the US... That's weird. There's three different things. I'll give that, show y'all that later. This is a Rodale twist lock, 125 volt, 10 amp, 250 volt plug. That middle thing there, that's just a screw holder. Now I, uh, I'm not sure how to how this is wired, but. This is a very old electrical outlet. You cannot use aluminum on this. Can you? I don't know. Okay, I don't know if it says that it's not UL approved. Oh. Yeah, there was a ground screw here at one time that must have fallen off. Yeah, this is a very old receptacle. Very old. I found this in Connecticut. Um, yep. So, um, I hope y'all now have learned something about 250 volt receptacles. Have a nice day.